I'm a little embarrassed by the fact that I know so little about math and sports. Mm. Wait, what sport you don't get? All of them? <laughs> I get like, I just learned football, but I had to make my own analogy. Oh, right. What's your analogy for oh, football? Oh, this should be great. <laughs> okay, so you ready for him? Yes. Boom. The football is the bad bitch. Uh oh. Okay? He's okay. starting off bad you got two already. Teams. This is nigga number one, and this is nigga number two over here. You gotta see how far you could get with this bad bitch. Oh, hold on. So, like, boom, you got your first yard. Boom, you got the first base with the bitch. Second yard, okay. boom. Now you gotta keep on going because it's a possibility that the other, that nigga number two, could come take this bitch from you. So get an interception. And get, he can get an interception and take your bitch to the touchdown. I'm, I'm, now they got a baby. I'm not mad at this. Down, score. Yo, your breakdown of fucking no, football. No, no, no. I'm not mad. I'm not upset with it though. Married, you know it. You feel me? So that's my. Is that not the right thing though? I mean, it's kind of. <laughs> You could have been. You could have went further in the detail. Hey, I'm not mad at that because at the same time, bro, you ain't lying, bro. You got you got a bunch of dudes competing over that one object, right? And then you got a bunch of guys around who are really like they do play important parts, like the linemen and things of that nature. Those are the men, the blue collar workers, right? They really not the highly sought after men in the league like that. The running back and the skill positions are the ones that touch the ball, aka the woman the most, right? And when them dudes score a touchdown, what they do? Throw that bitch down on the ground like I conquered this bitch. <laughs> and then what they do after that? Send it back to the streets, aka the field goal, or 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 when they uh you know they kick it off for the next team to get they go at it type. They send it back to the apartments, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. That kind of the quarterback, he the one that just he go, ah, ah. That's him passing up to the homies. <laughs> I'm saying though, like I low key like her analogy, bro. Yeah, it could have been a little bit more refined, and maybe she could have gave some more intricate details. But other than that, man, rock solid, bro. The most toxic thing you've ever done. The most toxic thing I probably ever did was a makeup. I think I was uh strapping her on when I was using my real. And I made her take a plan B in the morning when she thought I was a lesbian with a strap on, but I really, I'm a homophobic and I got it. Yep, I feel just like him. Yo, man, I know dudes do some foul stuff, man, but women, right, the female gender, they do a lot of foul stuff too, man. And then when you got one that identifies as the other, I can imagine they can do some real foul stuff too. On a different note, though, totally kind of unrelated, I seen a meme one time, and the girl was, like, one of them, and she was, you know, a part of the Alphabet organization, and she said, I'm not pulling out tonight. Somebody in the comments was like, what, you gonna leave your strap on? And <laughs> Boy, I was crying laughing, bro. Though, y'all dudes on the internet, undefeated when it comes to comedy, bro. I'm married, I got pics, I'm cool, but you married an undesirable man that really nobody wanted. So is that really like a goal? Like if I'm gonna get married, the goal is to be in a healthy marriage with an upstanding man and on values, principles, that's not gonna have me out here looking crazy. I feel like when women be out here bragging about, oh, I married this and oh, I married that, nobody give a fuck if y'all nigga be cheating on you all the time. That ain't nothing to brag about. Or if he's just not a good person. If you paying all the bills and your husband don't put in on nothing, who gives a fuck that you're married? Right, right. Y'all are not in in a partnership this is a one-sided relationship it's a lot of people that are, they're ring collectors i call them thanos bitches i got the ring i got the ring but you ain't never walked down the aisle oh they might even propose but a lot of times they don't have any intentions of getting married they don't care to make but you i think, think niggas be buying rings too they don't necessarily be proposing i don't care what they doing <laughs> but these but you know the crazy thing about it is this though right a lot of women get on these podcasts and they say the most egregious things about women who are doing, you know, things that they've done traditionally, like get married and they're not looking for the top 10%, 1% man that's lit, who's standing on top of tables in the VIP section, popping bottles of uh, overpriced Casamigos and Grey Goose and Azul and all that kind of stuff. Today's women think that a provider is basically a trick. They didn't took the... the um, prestige out of provider, which means a man that actually cares for his woman and cherishes his woman, they didn't turn that into a simp trick type of dude that's synonymous with uh, a man who can provide a luxurious lifestyle. That's what a provider means to them. It's no longer the same thing it meant 20 years ago, 30 years ago. But, you know, 
uh, any man who has half a brain, if he want, runs across this woman, these two women right here, and you know he gets to know them and stuff like that, and obviously they're doing well for themselves. How do how are you able to buy this kind of stuff? How are you able to take these trips? He's gonna start questioning, and then he's gonna run into this podcast, and let's just say he does like the girl. Man, he has to be stupid as hell if he really takes one of them seriously. And that's not really no shot at them, but man, basically everything they really talk about go against what most dudes who have self respect for themselves go um it goes against that you can't really go into certain spaces with women who talk and behave like that and you know this our cousins and type man we, we know we got family members that's just like them and let's be real none of them got no niggas man <laughs> it is what it is man bro i'll be trying to say stuff without getting disrespectful because they if they was to see it they'll be like man that nigga lame blah, blah, blah. but it's the truth man like i don't see a bunch of niggas lining up to marry these women bro i walked in on my ex getting her cheeks clapped so i tried to fight the guy he ended up beating my so bad that i shit on myself and as he was leaving he told her text me after you clean shitty boy up they're married with two kids oh, now. Oh, <laughs> bro. Text me when you clean up shitty boy. <laughs> Do you know how many times they probably look back at this scenario and yeah, laugh? laugh? Do you remember when I rocked, what's his name? With facts! Yeah, yeah. What's his name? <laughs> Mr. Hoo-ha! Mr. Oh, shitty boy. No. <laughs> See, bro, the dude sent this email or whatever it is to y'all. And y'all clowning this dude in the worst way, bro. I'm pretty sure he at the crib right now crying. He probably about to swallow a whole magazine, bro. And y'all know what a magazine is. Niggas in the hood call them clips. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But nah, bro. This 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 crazy, man. How do you recover from an experience like that, man? Not only was you heartbroken, you was physically hurt too, like assaulted to the point where you defecated on yourself, man. You was unable, incapable of controlling your bowel movement but that is crazy funny quick story man my homeboy kevin right that was my best friend in high school man he had like a little spicy tamale type of girlfriend she didn't know how to shut up one time she picked a fight with like one of the biggest girls at the school dog so i remember this shit like it was yesterday dog we coming out of uh english class and we walking together so it's me him and her and she see one of the girls, which is the big girl. I mean, as a man, I wouldn't even want to fight this girl. She was a mammoth of a human being, bro. She was like, yeah, oh, you know what it is? Catch me outside type shit. <laughs> why, when they intersected, she thought it was cool. Like, the girl wasn't going to do nothing. Man, why the girl did a quick turnaround, grabbed her. Hood. Next thing you know, she on top. Boom, 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 hitting her. She get back up to her feet some kind of way. Dog, I'm telling y'all, I'm not exaggerating. If I weighed 150 pounds, 140 pounds, she had to weigh 250. No lie, bro. So the girl that got her ass beat, my partner old lady, 120, soaking wet, fighting a heavyweight. Looked like a chihuahua versus a cane corso. Bro, the girl pissed all over herself, dog. We used to wear khaki pants, dog. So, you know, uh, just imagine a dicky suit. Khaki. When you, if you was to pee on yourself, it's going to show. Running them out, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know how my brain worked like that, y'all. I can't find a story from my past to relate to anything. I can't help it. That had no... Yeah, let's go to the next clip. Dumbass, you got me in a car looking like a fucking dummy. I'm trying to do a con No, con gesture, my ass. I don't give a fuck if that's your baby mama. She can take the bus. I don't care if she can take the train. I don't give a fuck. Let her ass walk. She got a whole nother nigga over here over here worried about this shit. Picking this damn up. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Why the fuck is I? Why am I even in this situation? You should have told me you was picking her ass up. No, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit though. You should care that he still be picking me up without me. Look, I ain't got time for that bullshit. You can walk your ass to wherever the fuck you got to go. Walk your ass. Walk your ass. Walk your ass wherever the fuck you gotta go. He ain't gotta give you a ride. I bet his ass ain't gonna give your ass another ride. I bet you the fuck he won't. Bye. 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 Why is you still here, though? Why is you still here? Bye. 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 Bye.
Say, bro, the, the crazy ones be pretty too sometimes. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. But, man, you know, is he right or wrong in this situation? It really depends, though, dog. Like, at the same time, if your baby mama ain't giving you as the baby father no real problems, no real grief, and she walking, and you have a call, is it okay for you to go pick your baby mama up so she can get to where she gotta go if you're in a relationship with another woman, man? It's, that's the question, right? And I know the answer gonna vary from person to person. Male to male, female to female. At the end of the day, what's the best course of action that's going to benefit the child? That's what I would go with. You know, if the mom is walking and she's, you know, I see this all the time. You see the mama catching a bus and she got a stroller, a newborn, a young child, and she's sitting at the bus type of shit. I mean, I guess if she had an old man, a baby daddy that is, who was able to catch her and give her a ride and so she don't have to sit out there on the streets exposed to the elements with his son i'm pretty sure he would do it granted they're on good terms but it gets a little sticky and the water start to get a little murky when you throw a new female girlfriend in the mix because at the end of the day they're not going to be going for that because you know let's be real they think y'all still clapping cheeks that's what it is it ain't about the kid they can care less about the kid a woman to date you and you'll be a whole deadbeat to her kid and still get pregnant for you expect different <laughs> like uh, the logic don't be logic and sometimes man life is complicated how, how did you keep your man for all these years you did you show her your glasses what glasses oh how did, did you I keep order? Your man for mm -hmm. oh no that was a night i never wanted him to want for sex he never had to warn it because I always gave it to him. Message. So that's the advice that you have to give as a young girl? Yeah. Never let your man want for it. Right. Because he'll go somewhere else and get it. Well, what if you got it and it ain't good? It's good, baby. Because <laughs> it's good to me when I walk. Hey, your wife is something meanest. Well, I know you know you're a lucky man. Here you go. Now I remember. I even remember your name. They should call you. They don't call me Black Snapper for nothing. Oh, Jawbone. Wow. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Black Snapper. Ooh. <laughs> oh, she used to be and putting it on Cleotis. I know that's right. Okay, we're wrapping up the Golden Pearls. Yo, she look good for however old she is. That's a wrap. All right, love you guys. Yo, I don't know how old she is, but she said he's still here after 60 years, man. She look good for... That mean I'm going to assume she was at least 18 when they got together or married or whatever. But, man, she still look good. Hey, that's crazy, though. You know what is crazy? Sex ain't everything, right? Like, a man need that. But this is the problem. When a woman not giving you sex, you start thinking about all the other shit that she don't be doing. That's the problem right there. So if you denying the man one of the things that he really desires the most, which is sex, and you don't cook, and you don't clean as much, that's going to become a bigger problem for him than it actually is. Because when you was putting it on him, he, 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 he didn't notice you wasn't cooking and cleaning like that. But as soon as it's been two weeks without you eating them up or hopping on top of that thing, now he's like, man, damn, bro, when the last time this bitch cooked? <laughs> she always yelling at me. She ain't grateful. Mm. See, the Virginia will have a man putting his blinders on. And he won't even notice all that if it's good enough. Like, if she really got that black snapper. And you know what else is crazy? Back in that time, man, you know, this gonna be, we in Black History Month. Let's not pretend like the white man's foot was not on her husband's neck. So, one of the best remedies for that is to give him some neck when he come home. To take his mind off all that stress, goddammit. You know, O'Connor down there at the job fucking over Theotis, man. You know, cutting his hours, talking to him. Hey, boy, go put that. You know what I'm saying? And he come home to a woman that don't want to give him the box. Oh, that could weigh heavy on a man back then in the, in the 50s. <laughs> hey, man, shout out to Huddle. Real talk. Tell me now. Bro, there is no condoms in there. What are you talking about? Tell me the truth. She literally said, if I look at this trash can, she bet her life on it. They ain't here. Hey, you, man, you is crazy. What is your problem? Bro, if I find a truck, start packing it up. If I find some condoms in here. You just got to leave for the day. Time. She going to let you back in, bro. Bro, you is, why is, what is wrong with you? You is crazy. There's no condoms in there.
Why are you dumping all this trash out? Why is you doing all that? Shut the fuck? Up. Bro, that don't even make no sense. You look at her. Look at her. Just crazy. I'm not gonna lie, man, that's crazy. And you know, that's a lot of energy um, expenditure right there, right? Looking for the wrong thing. The man sounds pretty confident that there's no rubber in the garbage can, so I'ma assume there's not one in there. But I don't know what's going on in this situation because she sounds like she's saying the side chick or whoever told her that it was there, right? So she's staring up the pot. Which brings me to this note. This is why men always get caught cheating because the side chick she don't want to be the side chick no more. She want to be more. And she can't stand the thought of another woman being better than her. Being, you told me so much bad stuff about this woman. You said she don't do this. She don't do that. Here, I'm doing all of this stuff for you that you said she don't do. And you're not leaving the bra. You stand with her the whole time. I'm giving you my all. Oh, that ain't going to sit well with them, brother. That's why y'all be getting caught. I'm telling you, man. It's the ego, bro. I'm telling you. So how do you feel if it's flipped? How do you feel about women cheating on their man or it, having a side it, dude? It, it is flipped. Women do it all the time. Mm -hmm. We just can't catch them. Because a, a woman can run further with her skirt up than we can run with our pants down. We got to pull our pants down to fuck. So when our pants around our leg, we trying to run, we go trip and fall. She can raise us up. She can, somebody can ring the doorbell, ding dong, and you and your woman can be laying in the bed. And she say, baby, I, I think that's the, let me, I got a package coming. It can be a nigga at the door. She can stand there and hold her dress up and let him fuck right quick and come back and lay in the bed and you'll never know. Women are more sneaky. Women are more conniving than men because men are creatures of habit, so we can't really be sneaky. Mm -hmm. It's too easy to detect what a man does because he's a creature in his pattern of behavior. Women are more snake-like. Mm -hmm. They play like they ain't whole, but they are hoes. They play like they don't want to be whole, but they got a whole nature. Money can do it. Hey, man, you know what's crazy, though? Usually I'd be agreeing with his analogies. His whole thesis is right, but the analogy is wrong because I'm going to tell you why. It's been situations where I done went, you know, in there. The skirt was up, but the zipper was down. My pants wasn't down. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It was the zipper through the boxer hole. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit, right? But the whole notion of uh, women being sneakier than men, definitely. And I think it's definitely something that's biologically wired in them because i be catching my daughters doing sneaky shit not no whole shit but like just in general people are sneaky i'm gonna say that because i be catching my son doing sneaky stuff too but like like when i say sneaky stuff i told her to put the phone down when she washing the dishes because it distracts her this is my oldest daughter and you know i come out the room the other day and she got caught red-handed and she just was Sneaky, right? I keep, I kept, I caught my son on top of the damn counter trying to get some cookies one time, and I'm like, yeah, he know I told him not to get them. Men and women both sneaky, but I'm gonna say this: the stakes are higher for women to be even sneakier than the men are because a woman can get hurt if she get caught by one of these dudes. Man, a dude would knock a woman head off. Man, they got some dudes right now who don't mind hitting a woman, bro. Let's be real. So if they get caught, they know they could get sent to the hospital, all kind of stuff. So I, and the plug could be pulled, right? The money, the resources, the the marriage, all they stand a lot to lose if they get caught. If they get caught, they don't have a man to take care of their child no more. So they sneak around and do that kind of stuff and they pin the baby on whoever they think it my point is this, he right. I just didn't care for that analogy, that's it. They been at work all day, and when he get home, he want this house clean. And the type of wife I am, I'm gonna give it to him. Y'all come clean this house with me. Say, bro, as a man, it's so it hit different coming home to a clean house and you ain't have to clean it. It hit different. And you know she finna put that black snap on him like Grandma said. <laughs>
All right, fellas, that was today's segment of Positive Vibes. It's been a good minute since I gave y'all one of them, but man, they got, you know, they got a couple of women out there who still doing traditional roles and respect the man that they got who going out there into that world, risking they, they neck for them, man, and for the kids, right? They still got women like that. I ain't saying you gonna find one, though. I'm just keeping it real, though. <laughs> That's fucked up, but nah, seriously, though, guys. I just wanted to put this out there because when you see good, you got to put it out there, man. You know, straight up, man. I hope her, her man stay together forever. I hope there's happiness, love, no infidelity, none of that kind of stuff, man. I hope they grow old together, goddammit. I'm out. Y'all be cool.